envelope filters are not that common in my channel. I did, however, do a review some time ago of the Funk Machine by Simon Effects. Now, the subversive propaganda by FT Electronica has a distortion switch, and that already sounds good to me. Welcome back to the Wetterbase. Let's dive straight into the review. The subversive propaganda has got three knobs labeled attack, sensitivity, and release. If this sounds familiar, it's because you'll find them on some compressor pedals. And if you are familiar with compressor pedals, you can get a pretty good idea of how these functions will affect the sound of this envelope filter. So let's listen to this pedal with the distortion turned off. <laughs> This envelope filter basically does a growl sound. So the attack knob determines how fast the effect response, slow on the left, fast on the right. This means more goo sound when playing fast notes and the attack knob set to the left. The release is how long you want the air sound to last, short on the left and long on the right. Sensitivity both affects the pitch being higher towards the right and the volume as the sound is slightly louder when the knob is turned clockwise. Now let's hear it with the distortion turned on. Bow, 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 bow. 
with or without distortion is completely up to you. I do enjoy it with the distortion turned on, but there is an important volume boost, as you might have heard at the very end of the previous sound sample. Lowering the volume on the bass guitar can help, but then the pedal is not as reactive. So with the distortion turned on, it can clip the input gain of your amp, which you'll have to turn down, or the next pedal in your signal chain. But some saturation pedals do enjoy having a boosted signal for more dirt. And besides, they behave kind of like a compressor, so no problem. Let's finish this review with a bit of improvisation. Hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.